Man, I hope this is not overexposed. What is good, YouTube? It's that one, Camera Guy, back at again with another video. And in this episode of What's in the Box, number three, we're gonna be taking a look at a few packages I just recently got. Let's get started. This first package I'm gonna take a look at, I picked up from Amazon, and you might be able to tell what it is depending on how it looks. From there. This thing comes with a really nice case. It's from Newer. I've bought in some cheap and expensive products from them before. It is a ring light. So I went ahead and picked this up. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out uh, just to see kind of the effect it has or how it looks on video. Again, I'm, I just kind of want to find some different looks in my production and just try different things. So I went ahead and got this. You might see maybe one or two videos in the future that have this kind of set up using the ring light just to see and test it out. You can definitely let me know if you like it or not when that video appears. And next, I've actually had this box hanging out for about a week already as I was waiting for other things to come in the mail. So this one I ordered off of eBay. It is not a Sony 35 f1.8. It is a Sony 16 to 50 optical, like OS, OSS lens. I picked this up from a user on eBay for under a hundred bucks, I think, uh, for the Sony a6000. I am gonna be working on some videos discussing and, and showing how to use the kit lens. Basically, what came with the camera, what can you do with it? Basically, what I'm trying to do is show people that the stuff that came with the camera or even the basic kit lens, you can definitely use to get some good shots and even video. So that's why I went ahead and picked this lens up because I'm sure a lot of you out there have this lens. And next, I, I'm not sure what this one is. Here it is. It is the, I didn't think it was coming in soon. This is actually the small rig cage for the Alpha 6500. So that was pretty fast. Okay, first impressions of the cage. You do have access to C1 and C2 now. I don't think you can see it from here. Um, it's a little different, definitely, the design. But you do have access. You have access to the battery door, memory card door slot. Um, so this will be very, uh, very nice to have. I was hoping to get this in soon so I can go ahead and use it and take a look at it. So that's small rig cage. And another item here. Another small rig item that I picked up. I picked up the HDMI clamp for the Sony Alpha 6300 cage. I did not have a clamp for this model. And when I record using the Atomos Ninja, the HDMI cable is real, gets really loose. So having this clamp is really helpful in order to secure the actual HDMI cable onto the, uh, onto the camera so that way the feed doesn't get damaged. And the final package here, which is kind of already open, it's this. Right here. You're like, what's this? Um, this is a, what is it, a thermal pad that I picked up? So heat sink, silicon pad. Um, this is what one of the YouTubers used when they did the overheating fix for the Sony a6000. They actually placed this inside of the camera and it helped alleviate the overheating problem in the Sony Alpha 6000 entirely from their test. And so I went ahead and picked this up myself. I don't know when I'm gonna be doing the actual opening of the Alpha 6000, but I will try and put a uh, tutorial together to make it easy for people to follow. So. 
that's what's going to be coming up, but I don't think it's going to be soon. It might be a couple months or a few months down the line before that happens, but that's what this is for. Well, folks, that's all I got for you in this video as far as all the products. If you have any questions or comments about them, please leave them down below. Uh, links for some of the items are listed in the description as well. Question before I end the video is ring light or no ring light? With that said, I'm your host, That One Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video.